Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, from the Master of Puppets. Today, joined by Jakob the Lord of Malts. And uh, today, we're going to be looking at probably the only pumpkin beer this year because we don't really get pumpkin ales in oh, Denmark. Course. No, unfortunately. Uh, this is one that was sent to us in a trade from Dan, uh, which also uh, sent us uh, the, the Hair of the Dog Fred we reviewed. And, uh, like Black Tuesday and Chocolate Rain. Yeah. But this one should be good. This is from Midnight Sun Brewing Company, and it's uh, f yeah Midnight Sun up in Alaska, and this is their treat Imperial P Pumpkin Chocolate Porter, or Imperial Chocolate Pumpkin Porter, seven point eight percent. This is the regular version. They also do an oak aged with uh, aged with oak chips, and it's brewed with uh, pumpkin, coconuts, cinnamon, cloves, and nutmeg. So yeah, that's that's pretty interesting. Testing on the side, intriguing. Doses of sweet spices, coconuts, and pumpkin transform an exceptional porter into a mesmerizing potion. Pour this tantalizing brew into a snifter and experience its many eccentric nuances, which create a royal treat. Demented or delightful? Mm -hmm. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. So, month of Halloween. This is fitting. So yeah, let's get the midnight sun treat pour. So we got the treat pour, and it's a uh, black color, almost yeah. pitch black. Uh, it gets a little bit of a ruby red note in the bottom yeah. of the glass. Um, and a one finger beige, beige looking yeah. head, but yeah, let's take out the aroma. Mm, yeah, very spicy. I get a yeah. lot of nutmeg and clove, and uh, was that wasn't ginger here, was there? No, no, I don't think so. I get an almost gingery aroma. Yeah, but there's also a Cinnamon kind of tad of. I think it's alcohol, but yeah. I'm not sure. It smells like a sharp kind of yeah look. sting, and it's. It doesn't smell like the pumpkin pie and the pie crust and stuff per se. It's more like cooked pumpkin. I actually made pumpkin pie today. We're just not having it with the beer, but um, uh, we will, we will after. after. <laughs> but it smells like when I steamed the pumpkin in the oven. Um, it's kind of like that. Uh, chocolate in there too. Yeah. Roasted malt, toasted nut, but really spicy. Yeah, A lot of ginger and nutmeg and some toffee kind of note to it. Um, it smells really nutty. Just, it smells okay. It does have that cake kind of aroma, but I think that's more of the spices. Mm. That kind of almost uh, bunke kind of oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Kind of thing, Danish Christmas cookies, yeah. <laughs> actually. It smells really nice and chocolatey and maybe a little bit of dark fruit. It's, it's it's smells, cool. It smells to having a fine amount of spices. Yeah. Oh, that's really balanced. Oh, yeah. Oh, the... I really like that lingering spice flavor. Mm. <clears throat> that is that is interesting. Yeah, but yeah, the mouthfeel I would say medium. Well, yeah, lighter side of full, but yeah, lighter side of full, bigger side of medium, something like that. Mm. Silky, quite silky, like a porter. <laughs> yeah, first up front you get a lot of that roasted malt mm. flavor, and then it goes into that chocolatey. Coca bean, coconut, yeah, flavor, caramel, it, toffee, but it has a kind of breadiness to it as well. Yeah, like that cake crust we talked about. Yeah, kind of. It actually has a little of that. Not much. Not, not, and like in the dubious amount of, of that the pumpkin. Also, pie, I think uh, a pumpkin head. Also, I think this is the last year's vintage. It's uh, one of their awesome seasonals, and I think this was from last year. It's probably an older bottle, so the spice isn't as pungent, but it is still. It's pretty tasty. As that cooked kind of pumpkin flavor, some of the ginger, the nutmeg, cinnamon, I'd say the most dominant spice is uh, kind of a, even though there's no ginger in here, it tastes like ginger yeah, to me. Yeah, I'm right there with you, with the ginger. But I'd say the most dominant flavor is cinnamon. <clears throat> I think this would be a great beer for people who don't like really spice beer, or yeah. at least a bottle uh, of aged, cellared, yeah. aged version. Yeah, nice little chocolate, kind of dark fruity, almost red grape flavor in yeah. there. Silky smooth and yeah. the, um, really like the mouthfeel on it. Yeah. But uh, as I said earlier, the taste is a little muted, a little. But again, that might be the age. So yeah, it's a really nice pumpkin beer, but I think I'd like it more fresh. Mm. Uh, get more of the pumpkin spice and, and all. And usually, yeah, spiced ales, you need to drink in fresh. 88 for me. It's, it's a really nice spiced uh, porter, but man, I'd love to try like a fresher bottle of it. And the oak aged one. Oh yeah, uh, I'm going 83. This is a great beer, but I had a hope set my hopes oh, up for a little more spice. spice. Yeah, 
But uh, yet again, that might be because I had the pumpkin by uh, pumpkin yeah. beer. Yeah. But uh, this is a great beer. It's a great porter. It's worth trying. A lot of actually cooked pumpkin I'm getting yeah. right now. Sorry. And yeah, pretty much worth trying out. Yeah, guys, that does it for the Midnight Sun treat. Uh, we also have their Arctic Devil to review, which should be really nice. So yeah, definitely let us know what you think of this brew if you've had it, especially compared uh, fresh and an old bottle. Yeah, maybe it it, it balances out the longer it sits. Yeah. It sits. Yeah. So uh, definitely let us know, guys. And as always, remember to come subscribe to our Facebook fan page and Twitter. And we're gonna say cheers. Cheers. And we're gonna see you guys in another beer review.